How's it going, guys? So we're here. Um, I had to watch a recap of a Pokemon video I was watching. It's just dying of laughter. And for anyone who's out there who ever plays randomizers or just Pokemon, if you ever come across a Tyranitar, be fair warned. He is dark rock type, not dark ground. <laughs> it's something that I end up watching. Um, basically, just get this video started. So uh, I put in my video cam over to where my health bar is instead of where my mana bar is so you can actually see the uh, skills and stuff like that so uh for gear wise uh just standard charms i added in there just to kind of boost our stats up and stuff like that so we're at 61 53 but that's just because of charms with that um using death set uh for the gloves third increase attack speed has that poison resistance of 50, poison length reduced mm. by 75, that eats 8% 8 life stone hits. We're using Nagel's Rings because it's the um, magic reduced damage, but mostly for the attack rating. Uh, death spell's always good, even though it's only a one slot, well, technically two slotted belt, but can't be frozen. You know, you get all resistances of 15, which is really nice. Using Harris's Boots for that fire resistance, as you can see, 75, 70. 15, 75, so we're not going to be dying anytime soon. Um, using Grey Form, always good armor if you can get it. That 5% life stolen per hit, so that's 13% life stolen per hit we're going to be getting back. Uh, 10 extra dexterity, that cold resistance of 20, that fire resistance of 20, that magic reduced by 3%, so that's always right, always nice, or excuse me, by 3. Um, using some of Cyber stuff, not using, actually using Tire Set, actually. Um, block rates, defense is only 29, which is kind of eh. But you have a block rate of 52, that poison resistance to 25, that extra 21 in mana, which is going to be really nice because at level 4, this thing is only still taking like 2 mana, but we only have like 42, so. Uh, damage, 200% 200, 200 damage to undead, which is really nice. That extra 15 to strength, the lighter resistance to 25, the fire resistance to 15, you know, um, cyphers, you get a cold resistance to 25, 25 extra defense, that magic regeneration is actually really nice. Especially if you're playing something like a sorcerer, so she's going to be a really heavy magic user. Um, using Ferial's Cranium, just because of all the resistance is 10. And then using the Cyber's Weapon, 852, normal attack speed. You always want to go for fast, or very fast attack speed is always best. The 22 maximum damage, plus the additional 12 to maximum damage based on your character. You know, 75 attack rating, and then the 50% percent on undead. So we're, right now we're doing 25 to 143 with Bash. And 16 to 106 just as a regular attack. Um, so let's go get our mercenary. Now, because our mercenary is going to be completely randomized when she, um, Kasha gives it to you, I'm going to choose which one I get. And I kind of have a strategy of how I think I'm going to try to keep our mercenary alive as long as possible. Um, skills wise, we have our Bash level 4, Combat Mastery. We're using the Mace one because that's what Cyber Warpus is, it's level 4. And then our war cry, basically our shout L3, and then, you know, you had to use Howl, so. But, uh, Blood Ravens down here, so. Uh, works a little slow, so I decided to take advantage of it. And so far, our first video, we're already at two, um, like 200 views. So I think people are definitely going to find this run to be quite interesting. You know, like I said, I always try to kind of mix up my Diablo 2 runs as best as possible. And, uh,. I haven't yet seen anyone do this one, so. And, um. Put out two other videos. One trailer reaction for. Uh, Ring, uh, Lord of Rings, Rings of Power for Season 2. And I put out another starting one, too, so. Uh, go check those ones out if you have any interest in those ones. And, uh. We're up to like 300 382 subscribers, too, so, which is actually really awesome. I'm gonna worry about fighting you guys. You're not gonna be worth the experience. And we're also level 12, so 206 health. We ain't being touched anytime soon. Because with Andariel, it's gonna be kind of tricky. But as long as Merc stays alive long enough, uh, we should be fine. I'm not gonna gain like crap with the experience over here anyways. I did a little bit of grinding too just to get him up to a decent amount of levels. You know what? I'm not, I don't have that one. 
Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gaining any experience even on player seven. They're just too low of a level. One bash. Take that dagger. Ooh, I'll take that aim well too. Thank you very much. Garbage. Take an extra four dexterity, why not? Good riddance, blood raven. I can hardly... uh, since we don't know what the hell our archer is. Good day. And now you can switch between your mercenaries as, as if you want to. You know, but once that mercenary dies, that's it. You can no longer use that type of mercenary, so... Um, I'm going to choose a cold one, and I'm going to, uh, yeah, um, because we're going to go across so many fire immunes as it does anyway, so. Now, I have arctics for her, and I have several bows, so I want to put them on to her. I want to see what we're looking at for stat-wise. And last I checked, attack rating does not work on mercenaries, so it doesn't really matter. Power strength versus our enemy. Uh, what are we looking at here? 17 to 39. 618. I doubt any of these bows are actually going to do as mount, good amount of damage as Arctic's is because of that bonus. 516. If not, then I'll probably just end up selling them anyways. I don't know, maybe. We'll see. 17, or 12 to 25. Okay, yeah, so our is just going to be overall better. She lives long enough through the goddamn playthrough. Um, I have some rune words. Like, one's like 25 for her to use, so. Buckler, and I go, oh, shit. Especially if I can give her some of like, um, Rip Hook. I think it's Rip Hook. Mixed with, uh, God, I can't remember how that goddamn armor is called. But it gives her, gives her increased attack speed, though. If I compare those two up, which I think they're to like level 16 anyways, give her basically just like, rapid fire and then having her at a distance and then having me being the main tank should be able to pick almost anyone off until we basically get to either Daryl or Doriel and usually when it comes to Doriel I will go with an act 2 mercenary because especially with the defiance it gives you that extra defense and stuff like that how long does this shit last for? 40 seconds that's, that's like the quickest 40 seconds ever um but I think the I think the game plan is I'm going to stick with an act one mercenary for Duriel. Because even though his cold aura will be there to slow us down, she's gonna be so far away that Doriel's not gonna be bothered with her. He's gonna pay most of his attention to my character, which is actually going to save a lot of trouble of actually keeping her alive and me being allowed to keep my guidance skills. So but act when mercs always tend to be squishy as it is anyway, so we'll see how that one goes. As long as I check, there's not a helmet that gives you increased attack speed that I'm aware of. So. Shrine. You're dead. <laughs> Shit, collect all this gold, but uh, it's not gonna be worth it, anyways. I 
Oh, wait, what's our block rate too? Oh yeah, we have max block rate too. Or at least for the low low enemies, so it'll, it'll definitely differ um, later on. But I think once uh, we get to Act Three, is going to be tricky because with Travancle, because of their hydros. So I might switch out our archer for a mage. The Act One is Act Three uh, Iron Wolves, just to keep some sort of resistance. Diablo is going to be my biggest problem because no matter what mercenary you have, no matter what gear you have, you know, he's always a little turd and always ends up killing your mercenary no matter what. And even with ranged characters of having an Act 1 mercenary or having an Act 3 mercenary, even keeping your distance, he hits him with one of those goddamn infernos, they're just instantly dead. So, but I figured that we keep her alive long enough or switch to an Act 3 Mercenary for Diablo, we can at um, least try to freeze him and slow down his uh, attacks. So, I don't know, figure it all out. The hell's his goddamn... Would like to get to the waypoint. That's possible. Okay, there's the stones. Where the hell's the goddamn waypoint? It's just like loading me up with dexterity. Eventually, I will get rid of those charms once our dexterity and strength actually get high enough as it is, anyways, because we're getting an additional. What, two, four, f seven, we're talking about 11. Like 14 extra dexterity from what we have. So, what, 46? So. And for um, building skill tree wise, uh, I kind of want to get a double swing, but at the same time, I don't want to get rid of my shield. So we might lean towards making a concentrate barbarian. Yeah. So we get along far enough into the goddamn game, I'll build a concentrate barbarian, and after that it should pretty much be game over, until we at least get to Act 5. Ancients is going to be always going to be a problem, then that's where I think I will actually switch to an Act 2 mercenary. Um, by that time I should be high enough as it is anyway, so I shouldn't have to worry about them too much. But, uh, Ancients usually tends not to be too big of a problem when you have an Act 2 merc. Because when my Merc dies, <laughs> oh, that was another thing I was, I was going to mention too. Because um, I put his base on, an, like, if you have like 15 points in the bash, you know, that's the one skill you can't use. That also involves with the rest of your skills. So, say she just died right there. Because bash is at level 4, this is at level 4, that's at level 4. Because of those, because of those are your highest level skills, instantly cannot be used. So. As long as one is higher than the other, then you cannot use those ones. So, if she would have died, then I would have lost three skills right there that would have pretty much crippled us in the beginning of the goddamn game. So. Ooh. That's not a bad pair of boots, actually. I will actually keep those. Thank you.
so we have 15 minutes so let's see if we can get through this place and live as best as possible Is that like stamina or is that a grease? See, this is the problem I have with Act 1 Merc. She really stands too damn close to the goddamn enemies. You're an archer, you're not supposed to get that close. You're not like Liss. Oh. Well, thank you very much for that. See, that's another thing that they should introduce, is that when they were making archers... Uh, eh. Um, they should have introduced the concept of actually uh, having a secondary thing for you, like how your character has can swap between weapons. They should have introduced that for, you know, the Act 2 mercenary or the Act 1 mercenary where if they got instantly got too close or they were getting over surrounded, she could switch to something like dual daggers. Or with the Act 1 Merc if or Act 2 Merc if he was getting damaged too much, he could switch to a um a spear and a shield. You know, something like that. I think it would have been an interesting um uh, thing for your mercenary just to keep him lying long enough as it is. Because they kind of, they kind of lack on the on the mercs, and no matter what Diablo came, which kind of sucks. I don't know. It's like let's just gather the rest of the scraps, and we'll just put in as a mercenary. It's just like, come on, guys, You're getting sloppy with your goddamn games. Well, this is not what I wanted. Seventeen minutes. It better be up this path there or we're ending the video here. Oh, Rockin' Nish is not alive, good buddy. He ain't gonna come see you. Another goddamn way. Are you kidding me with this shift? Alright, well. We're gonna end the first video here. And we'll pick it up and try to get uh, Kane in the next video. So that's the whole game plan for so far, but we'll slowly just plan it along the way and see exactly how far we can keep our mercenary alive. So stay tuned for that. Stay safe. Help the Santas. Make sure to drop a like, they will subscribe, leave comments below, and make sure to check them all out. Uh, see you guys.